Hello, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use Eximetry SE. We assume that Eximetry and the Studio demo sets content package is already installed on your PC. If not, then you can download and install them from our website. Open Eximetry Composer. In the Startup Configurator, you can specify your video output needs. We will leave everything in default now. Once you finish, click Start. For this tutorial, we're going to use a virtual scene made entirely using Eximetry. Let's open the scene. In the File Browser, go to Studio slash Newsroom and open the Newsroom dash Virtual Cam underscore 3 dash Cam Compound by double clicking on it. The scene will appear in the Flow Editor and in our Preview window. I'm going to enlarge this preview window to better show you what we'll do. In Axymmetry, the flow editor is where all the programming happens, but for production we use control boards for their convenience. Let's go to the camera's control board. On the Camera and Render Setup panel, Click on the mouse icon to turn on the free camera mode. Use the mouse and keyboard to adjust the virtual camera angle to get a better view of the talent. Next, we are going to set up a live video input. Go to the billboard's control board and turn off the test property of the input 1 panel. We can see a message saying device not found. Click on the input 1 panel, go to the pin values on the right, and under the input device's parameter, Select your live video input device. We can see the video signal appearing in our virtual scene. Next, switch monitor 1 to crop mode to crop the video. At the pin values, let's turn off the portrait mode to switch the video back to its original orientation. Then using the sliders called left, right, top, bottom, crop out the unnecessary parts of the video input. After this, switch the Monitor 1 panel to Keyed Mode. Go to the Pin Values and look for the Monitor Mode parameter. Set the Monitor Mode parameter to Input to see the unprocessed video input. Next, we are going to pick the color of the green screen. Open the Background Color parameter by clicking on the colored rectangle. A color wheel will appear on your screen. In the bottom left corner of its window, click and hold on to the color picker and then drag it onto the live video stream you see in the preview window to pick the color of the green screen. Once you found the right spot, release the color picker, go back to the background color window, and hit OK. Still at the pin values, switch the monitor mode to final. Use the low cut and high cut sliders to do a quick keying of the video input. We'll talk more about the keying parameters in another tutorial. Once we finish adjusting the keying parameters in the monitor 1 panel, we can switch to final mode. Now we can see that the billboard 1 panel is selected. Next, we are going to place the talent on the ground. To make this easier, we are going to turn on the Edit Scene mode. Click on the little arrows icon at the top, then click on Preview 1. Now we can move the billboard using the arrows of the Transformation Gizmo. Adjust the height of the billboard right until you see the ambient occlusion patch appearing on the surface of the virtual floor. Hold Shift plus Control for fine adjustments. After this, at the pin values, Look for the lift parameter. Adjust it until the talent seems to stand on the ground. We can now place the talent in the virtual studio. Using the transformation gizmo, move it behind the desk. Lastly, let's create a new camera path. Go to the camera's control board. Here we have a number of camera path slots we can use. Some of them are pre-programmed, but we can override any of them. In the Camera and Render Setup panel, select the Camera icon. In the Camera 1 Path panel, select a Camera Path slot. Then, in the Edit Camera Path panel, click on A. A is the starting point of a camera path. Place the virtual camera in the scene, defining its new starting point for the camera animation. Once we finish placing the camera, Click on the copy icon. Next click on B, 
Then click on the paste icon. B is the endpoint of the camera animation. Set up the endpoint's position as well. We can now click on the play button to see the new camera path. With this, we have finished the tutorial.